mankind has been pushing forward innovation in the field of mobility. And today, we're going to be looking at another such example, electric aircraft. An electric aircraft is an aircraft powered by electricity, almost always via one or more electric motors, which drive propellers. Electricity may be supplied by a variety of methods, the most common being batteries. Electrically powered model aircraft have been flown at least since the 1970s and were the forerunners of these small unmanned aerial vehicles or UAV, which are popularly known as drones. Drones in the 21st century have become widely used for many purposes. The first crewed free flight by an electrically powered airplane, the MBE-1, was not made until 1973. And most crewed electric aircraft today are still only experimental prototypes. However, more recently, interest in electric passenger aircraft has grown for both commercial airliners and personal air vehicles, in part to limit the environmental impact of aviation. Batteries are the main source of electricity tested out in today's electric aircraft. While they store the maximum energy, their mass creates issues with respect to flight. Larger aircraft cannot be powered by batteries as they would weigh heavier and use up more energy, limiting their range. Therefore, current projects have focused on commuter aircraft carrying fewer passengers across short distances. Let's look at a couple of aircraft that fit into this category. Our first pick is Aviation Aircraft's Alice, which is the world's first all-electric commuter aircraft. Alice, the world's first all-electric commuter aircraft, lifted off on September the 28th, 2022, making history in electric aviation. Aviation Aircraft notes the event as a major milestone towards zero emissions medium range air travel. Alice lifted off at 7.10 a.m. Pacific time from Grand County International Airport, flying for eight minutes and reaching an altitude of 3,500 feet or 1,067 meters before touching down. The trailblazing flight provided aviation with invaluable data that can further optimize the aircraft for commercial production. Two variants of Alice were originally planned. The initial unpressurized model was intended for air taxi operations. Aviation was working on building a prototype scheduled to fly in early 2019. In 2017, a second pressurized model was to be made as an extended range ER executive aircraft available by 2023 for $2.9 million with a more powerful aluminium air battery with a lithium polymer buffer, a cabin pressurized to 1200 meters at FL280 G5000 avionics, a 444 kilometers per hour cruise speed and 1367 kilometer range. This was the model that was currently tested. The electric airplane was propelled by two electric motors spinning two propellers near the tail with energy from 8,000 pounds of batteries. The aircraft hit a speed of about 171 miles per hour during its brief flight. In comparison to light jets or high-end turboprops, Alice significantly reduces noise Alice was a milestone for a specific sector of aviation that focuses on carrying small amounts of people, nine in this case, across short distances. This new generation of aircraft has the power to transform communities by providing access to airports not currently used by commercial flights due to noise concerns or restricted operating hours. Aviation Alice is targeted at commuter and cargo markets as well, and will typically operate flights ranging from 150 to 250 miles. Nevertheless, Alice is only an experimentally registered prototype, not a fully certified production aircraft. Aviation has to run it through a rigorous flight test regime, get the commuter aircraft certified under the Federal Aviation Administration's Part 23 
and ship it to its customers such as DHL or Cape Air. Eviation also awaits further battery technology advancements to make the design commercially viable. Currently, it's powered by 21,500 small Tesla-style battery cells. With 260 watt-hours per kilogram cells, the 900 kilowatt-hour battery capacity, which weighs 3,460 kilograms, is initially estimated to give the design a range of 540 to 650 nautical miles, which ranges from 1,000 to 1,200 kilometers at 240 knots of speed and an altitude of 10,000 feet. This is anticipated to increase as battery technology improves. The batteries have been tested to more than 1,000 cycles, which is equivalent to 3,000 flight hours and will then require replacement at a cost of $250,000, which is half of the direct operating cost, similar to a piston engine overall in jet engines. Based on US industrial electricity prices, the direct operating cost with nine passengers and two crew flying at 240 knots is claimed to be $200 per hour which compares to $600 to $1,000 per hour for existing aircraft of a similar purchase price, such as the Cessna 402s, Pilatus PC-12s, and Beechcraft King Airs for operations on routes under 500 nautical miles, which means 930 kilometers. The electric drive will have a higher voltage than current electrical systems. Two 850 horsepower Magni 650 electric motors will drive two propellers mounted on the aft fuselage. The company plans for recharging to be carried out by mobile charging vehicles, similar to aviation fuel trucks. Each hour of flight time is expected to require a charging time of 13 minutes. The cells are similar to those from auto industry batteries. The plane right now will be built with existing technology, including a composite airframe, propulsion from two Magnix electric engines, and Honeywell flight control systems, including automatic landing. At 3,700 kilograms, the batteries account for 60% of the aircraft takeoff weight. Manufacturing is planned in the US.